You may all be seated. Now, senior class band members, we excuse you to go get ready to play the national anthem. Good evening, family, friends, and classmates. Welcome to the class of 2018 graduation. My name is Abby Ott and I am the senior class president this year. We are so excited to see so many people here to recognize the accomplishments of our class. We would like to begin with an opening invocation given by Anna Gardner. Our Father in Heaven, we are grateful to be gathered here today as um, Desert Hills class of 2018. We're thankful to have spent so many great years together and to know that through all of these years we have been blessed by thee. We're grateful to have been blessed with safety and friendship and built relationships that we know will last a lifetime. Father, we ask that thou please continue to bless us with um, this, thy spirit that we can be given peace and safety and continue to have good experiences and build upon the foundation that we have built the past three years. We are once again so thankful to thee for the opportunities that we have had and look forward to all that we will see from thee in the future. For these things we ask and thank thee in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Anna. We also would like to recognize the following special guests. Larry Bergeson as the superintendent, Richard Holmes, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Schools, Brent Bills, Business Administrator, Bob Sanju, Executive Direction of Professional Learning, Kelly Blake, Terry Hutchinson, and Lorraine Cox as school board members. We'd also like to thank Bryson King for his help in designing the graduation program. Yeah. As a reminder, although audience members are encouraged to cheer for their students, please refrain from using any air horns, artificial no noisemakers, or other items that might disrupt or take away from the formality of our ceremony. We also ask that you do not come down on the main floor. There will be a short time afterwards for pictures. Your help with that is appreciated. The Cox Auditorium has been opened as an overflow location. Our graduation will be broadcasted there. Never mind, it hasn't. That was on the paper, I promise. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise as we honor our country with the national anthem performed by the DHHS band. The flags will be presented by the Air Force JROTC.
Thank you. Please be seated. The rest of our program will proceed as outlined. I will speak, and following me, you will hear from Lucy Draper, our student speaker. After Lucy, the DHHS band will perform a spirit decor directed by the birthday boy himself, Mr. Winslow. When the band is finished, Jaden McQuivy, student body president, will speak to us. Following Jaden, the DHHS chamber singers will perform the song listed on your program. We will then turn the remainder of the meeting over to Mr. Rusty Taylor, principal of Desert Hills High School, for the presentation of the graduates. All right, so this might be hard for me because I was told that if I felt like crying to do math problems in my head, but I know that'll stress me out, make me cry harder. So if I start crying, this is just all going downhill. You may or may not know our theme this year was Feel the Thunder. Now we didn't pick this theme because it's a lyric from a great song or because it's fun to say at the end of announcements every day, but because we wanted to create a feeling all around the school and all around the state that shows just how positive and amazing Desert Hills High School is. Our activities and assemblies this year were better than ever, and we surely showed the state what it means to feel the thunder through our various region and state athletic titles, as well as our great showings from our music and club programs. I could easily spend five plus minutes talking about all the great things we accomplished this year, but I think you guys already know how awesome we are. In the short amount of time Desert Hills has been a school, we've quickly become one of the greatest in the state, and I'm probably biased saying that, but I stand by it 100%. Seniors, we've accomplished many great things over the past four years, but now it's time for us to leave. It's time for us to hashtag senior send it right into the future. I know this might be a hard pill to swallow, especially for Jaden, I'm sorry Jaden, but we shouldn't be worried because over the past four years, with the help of our amazing teachers, faculty, parents, and friends, we have made a foundation that will help us build our future. There were times where high school didn't quite feel like a walk in the park so much as it felt like a dead sprint through a burning hot desert. But we made it, we survived. Because of our experiences, we've learned how to persevere. We learned how to brush off our mistakes and how to keep trying. We learned to ask for help and we learned to care for and help each other. As our time in high school dwindled down and senioritis plagued us all, many of us probably spent the time we were supposed to be spending in class thinking, what in the world am I going to do now? You might have had that question answered since you were six years old, or you might change it every time you get asked that at family dinner. But it doesn't matter, because looking at all of you right now, I can tell you for a fact that we all have the potential to change the world for the better. One of my favorite quotes comes from a lowly beet farmer and paper salesman, saying, I'm ready to face any challenge foolish enough to face me. We, as the class of 2018, are ready to face challenges. We're ready for the future. We've learned lessons in high school that will help us throughout our lives, and I'm not just talking about the quadratic formula. We have potential, and as long as we use that potential wisely, we will accomplish great things. We've danced together, we've cheered together, and we've cried together. And now, today, tonight, we graduate together and move on to the next chapter of our lives. I hope you always remember what it felt like to feel the thunder. I hope every time you hear ACDC's Thunderstruck, you think fondly back on the times that that song hyped us up before a game. Most importantly, I hope you never forget the lessons we learned and the experiences we had together. It was such an honor to be your senior class president this year, and it was a great four years to be a thundercloud. Thank you all very much. too short for this guys all right today is our last day together as a unified body friends will part ways teachers say goodbye to students moving to the next phase of life and parents sit surrounding us watching their children grow up before their very eyes when you put on your cap and gown this afternoon and you looked in the mirror what did you think I never thought I'd make it here or it's finally over or these sleeves are really long no matter what you thought, today is the day we have been waiting for our whole lives. Today is finally the end, of high school anyway. And look at how far we've come. We've grown together. We've bonded together. We've watched the buzzer beaters, the last minute touchdowns, and the triumphs over adversity. We did all of this together as a class of 2018, as a unified Thunder family. 
I know that not all of you know me, and I wish I knew all of you as well as I know my core group of friends. But throughout your three, two, or even one year at Desert Hills High School, no matter the social circle you found yourself in, we are all bound by these ties of Thunder Family. While our time in high school ends once we walk across this stage, that linkage doesn't have to. The blood of this Thunder Family runs deep. It runs through each class and program this school offers. It throws through every teacher you can call a friend, a principal that knows you by name, and a whole staff concerned with nothing but your well-being. It became stronger as you screamed in the student section at a bid game, and every time you high-fived a student you barely knew because neither of you studied for that chemistry test. Our pasts were shaped together. Just because we go out to lead different lives does not mean those bonds will be lost. A quote from an unknown author states that, there is something between us all, something that keeps us together, like invisible ties connecting us. I feel those ties today. We are all anxiously awaiting for our lives to begin, but we should not forget the lessons that we learned together. Even the hard work, persistence, and patience it took to pass the hardest math class will be useful in the days to come, even if we never use the concepts again. Some of us now go to countries on the other side of the world speaking languages not even Google knows. Some will be right here at Dixie State, but no matter who you are or where you go, I hope that you can look back at your time at Desert Hills and smile. Thank you.
Just give me a second. I need to start my timer. If there's one thing I've learned in debate, it's to always keep a timer of yourself. So you never go over time and you never go under time. And Principal Taylor only gave me 30 minutes to talk about what I wanted to. And, you know, I'm really glad you guys laughed because I looked at some of the parents and, and I was planning to make that joke. Some of you just shook your head. I was like, please don't even joke about that. Just let me see my kid walk across the stage so I can go home. My parents included. <laughs> I love you guys. But there really is so much I could say about the fun and memorable times I have in high school, and especially senior year with all the amazing seniors. I remember walking in as a fresh senior to the school, getting new teachers and new classes in a parking spot, and I remember the day that I learned I had senioritis, much like all of you. And if you don't know, senioritis is a serious and violent disease. Symptoms include lack of motivation, lack of responsibility, and the thought that phase is more important than class. Now this is a very serious disease, but what comes worse is when kids come home with senioritis, their parents conduct an even more serious disease called secondhand senioritis. And parents, these symptoms might sound familiar. Symptoms include disappointment, <laughs> headaches and migraines constantly, sadness, and in extreme cases, anger and rage. My parents included. <laughs> but in my case, senioritis became more, and I learned that I have an even more rarer form of senioritis called type 2 senioritis. <laughs> and there are similar symptoms, lack of motivation, and the thought that phys is more important than class. But then you get this feeling and this idea that you do not want it to end, that you want to be a senior forever and that you don't want to stop. Because you know when you do, you know when it ends, you have some of the hardest goodbyes, and you have to welcome some of the toughest trials. And I struggled a lot with that idea. I struggled a lot that after this, I had to make decisions on my own, that I might start have to buy my own food and do my own laundry. I began to realize how much my parents did for me. And if you're anything like me, those thoughts were terrifying. So much terrifying that I wasn't myself for a long time. That I was sad and depressed. I really was because I was leaving behind such a great, such a, an amazing school and leaving behind amazing people. Until one night, a Mountain Dew showed up on my porch and I got a phone call from one of my closest friends. And she basically told me, Jaden, you're dumb. Stop being sad and depressed. Stop worrying about yesterday and thinking about tomorrow and stop wasting your today. And it was amazing, and I was completely shocked that she had said those things, so wise and so profound. But I took it serious, and I took it to heart, because I knew she was right. I was wasting my today, thinking about yesterday, and worrying about tomorrow. I remember the very first assembly that I had, that, that we put on, the Welcome Back Assembly, and I remember saying that every day should be memorable, and that you should make every day special, because eventually it would end, and it did. And even though I don't remember every day of high school, and I don't remember everything that I have done, I remember. And I have special and amazing memories that I have made with, with all of you contributing that. And that's exactly what applies to that amazing quote that my friend told me. I don't need to worry about yesterday because I have a memory today of what I had. And I don't need to think about tomorrow because I'll just make new memories that I can hold on to. But sadly, our memories of, of high school doesn't make saying goodbye any easier. Um, there's a quote that I love, and it says, How lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? And before I even got up to talk, I made a bet with Abby that I wouldn't cry. And I need all the money I can get for senior trip, so I'm, gonna, I'm holding on. But, but it really is going to be one of the hardest goodbyes. I haven't cried yet, Abby. So your money. I haven't cried yet. But it really is going to be one of the hardest goodbyes. And I owe that to the amazing senior class and all the amazing teachers that I have made and all the memories that I have had with you guys. All the amazing memories that I can hold on to so I don't have to worry about yesterday or think about tomorrow. And I want you guys to remember that. I want you to remember to live in the now and to make memories every hour and every minute of your lives because eventually it'll end just like, just like high school and just like all the other amazing great things that you have.
but you will always have those memories, just like I will always have these memories. And one of the best memories that I've ever had is being in a student section like this and leading a cheer. So one final time, one final time, just before we go, seniors, audience members, put your hands in the air. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. And it is called the roller coaster, and it's easy. You just follow me. Here we go. Ready?
It's amazing to be able to look up, sit up here, and watch our students as they run this, as they get ready to be recognized, as they get ready to move on. Uh, before I start my, my comments, um, I want to thank and recognize a few people as we always need to. First of all, of course, I'd like to thank and recognize our teachers and our counselors. We've got them sitting over here today, and they're all mad at me. If you look at their faces, you can tell, because they have to wear these very, very comfortable and slimming robes. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you the hours and the effort and the time that they put into working with your students. They are truly a phenomenal group of people. They sacrifice time with their families to take care of yours. So if we could please give them a round of applause. Thank you, guys. And you think I'm kidding. Look at Mr. Smith. He didn't even crack a grin. Oh, now he did. OK, good. I also need to recognize, too, the people who really make our school go round as our secretaries. Um, and I'm not going to start saying names because I'm going to forget somebody and then they'll really be mad at me. But I can't begin to tell you the, the amount of time and effort that they put into things to make sure that it runs well for your students and for you. Also, it's, it's kind of ironic. Um, occasionally, we'll get a phone call from maybe one of you that was a little displeased at something that I said or did. And uh, my secretaries are great. They're the one that take all the heat out. And then by the time you talk to me, it's very nice and calm and sweet. So thank you to them for all that they do for all of us. I also need to recognize the other administrators. We've had an intern with us this year, Mrs. Terry Howell. We so appreciate all that she's done for us the time and effort that she put into things. Mr. Troy Coyle, our athletic director, for his time and energy. And Mr. Justin Keat, who's been with me for eight years, he and I started to go together. Um, and we were, we might be stupider now than we were when we started, but I'm not totally sure. But I love these people and I love working with them and I'm so grateful for all of their help with all of us. And of course, we need to recognize our students. Our graduates out here. We also have graduates on the stage. We have our students that have earned 4.0s this year. Please stand up. Sorry, that's not just this year. That's all the years. Also, we want to recognize our Sterling Scholars that we have up here on the stage, too. So. Graduates, sit down. Sterling Scholars, stand up. Thanks, guys. And finally, students, my suggestion to each one of you is recognize your parents, your family, your loved ones that are here supporting you that suffered through senioritis, as Jaden said, right along with you guys. Thank you to all of our family and Thunder family. So this is the 10th graduation for Desert Hills High School. And we spent the whole year this year at the school finding ways to celebrate the anniversary. As I was preparing this uh, talk today, I started to think, why is 10 so special? What's the big deal about 10? Why don't we do get excited and have a celebration for the 8th anniversary? Or maybe the 3.29th anniversary? I think it might be because our number system is called a base 10 number system. Rohan, am I right with that? Base 10? Uh, that's why we count using 10, why our numbers shift from tens, ten, hundreds, thousands, and why when we use decimals, we go the other way, tenths, hundreds, thousands. So 10 years, it's a big deal. And since I've already bored our English department with math, I'm going to throw a more, few more numbers at you that represent Desert Hills High School. My purpose for this, of this for you, for our graduates, is to, and for our parents, is to hopefully help you realize what a truly special place Desert Hills has been and your part in it has mattered. Okay, so here's the numbers. 
In 2008, when Desert Hills opened, our October 1st enrollment, which is the official enrollment, was 723 students. Our October 1st enrollment, 2018, or for this year, 2017, 1,424 students, 20 students short of doubling. The total number of students who have gone through Desert Hills High School right now, 10,959. Our graduating class in 2008 had 103 students. We have more than that today, 446. Our faculty in 2008, 38. Our faculty this year, 62. In 2008, they offered six AP and college uh, concurrent enrollment classes. This year, we offered 25 classes where students can earn college credit. We started tracking the amount of scholarships that are offered to our students in 2011. And that year, we had reported to us students offered $134,200 worth of scholarships. This year, we beat that one by a little bit. $6.5 million offered to Desert Hills graduates. And since we've been tracking that data, a total of $33.5 million have been offered to the Thunder family for higher education. But I, I want to be real careful about this. I don't want everyone to think we care about just academics at Desert Hills. I'd like to share some of our athletic accomplishments with you, too. Thank you for laughing at that. That was funny. Thank you. The social experience at Desert Hills High School is something that we've tried to encourage and address, and athletics plays a significant part of that. In 10 years, Desert Hills has won 76 region titles. The first was girls tennis, the first year. The most we've ever won was 12 in one year. That was last year. And so far we have won 32 state titles. Nine in girls golf, which is the most in a single sport. In three years, in 2014, 2017, and this year, we've won five state titles. Yeah, you can clap for that. If we were to include non-Utah high school activity sports, we would add three more state titles for cheer, and we would add one Nevada state title for lacrosse last year. But life isn't always roses and rainbows at Desert Hills. I often talk about one of the privileges administration has given me is to see, often in close proximity, the heartbreaking stories of students and what they have to overcome to function. The deeply personal stories of students are where the true accomplishments reside, and occasionally the most crushing failures. Graduates, you'll have your challenges. One thing I can tell you, you can do it. We're on your side. We will always cheer for you. Mrs. Lowe made fun of me because she said all I ever do is cry at these, so I am not. I got teeth marks on my tongue right now, but I'm not going to. On my fridge at home, we have this saying. You can't see it. It's kind of crumpled. It's got food and other kinds of things on it, too. I can't even tell you where it came from. It's been there so long but it's become an informal motto at our home. It says, the chief cause of failure and unhappiness is trading what we want most for what we want at the moment. Keep your eye on the prize, graduates. Don't short yourself by giving up what you want most for what you want now. And if you do make that mistake, wake up, start another day, and do it again. The time has come to recognize you graduates for your accomplishments. But before we do, I'd like you guys to complete this sentence for me. You've heard it all year at every morning announcement. It's not the Pledge of Allegiance, and it's not hungry hallways down the math hall, dollar fifty a slice. Although hopefully both of those will always ring in your head. 
No, I'd like you to complete for me the sentence that's the theme of your class. So if you'll permit me to take the place of Ethan Glines, Desert Hills graduated class of 2018, always remember to feel. Mr. Kelly Blake, I present to you the graduates of Desert Hills High School 2018. Each member of this class has successfully completed the requirements for graduation and should be awarded their diploma. Wow, this is impressive. Um, it's always an honor to come and to accept a graduating class. And it's even more impressive to look at the amazing students and faculty and administration for Desert Hills High School. You guys are amazing people, an amazing group of individuals that exemplify what is great about Washington County and about Southern Utah. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time up here tonight because your parents came to see you graduate and not listen to me speak because they don't care. They want to hear you guys. So, that being said, on behalf of the Washington County Board of Education, we accept the graduating class of Desert Hills High School 2018 and all, for all of the wonderful things that you have done for all your efforts that you have made in being here today and preparing yourself for your futures. All I'm going to say is this. The reason why thunder is so important is because it's heard and it's loud. So go out there as a graduating class of 2019, make the world hear you thunder and make it resound throughout the entire world to make it a better place than you found it. Thank you. We'll just remind you as our graduates come through, feel free to cheer and yell for your students. Please don't use air horns or artificial noisemakers, please, so that we can make sure that every student's name gets heard. Abigail Lindsay Ott. Jaden Hyun McQuivy. Ethan Josiah Ashby. Saya Bergeson. Keaton Mark Brinkerhoff. Kennedy Sierra Cobb. 
Ryan Hunter Corey. Jared R. Craig. Daniel Otten Davies. Anna Gardner. Elisa Beth George. Camry Don Hamilton. Nicholas Rhett Holden. Rohan Rahiv Kadu. Colin Aaron Klomp. Sierra Nell. Jillian Rosencrantz. Sabrina San Sheffel. McKenna May Seavey. Corey Thomas. Tyler Rhodes Weber. Autumn Nicole Woods. McKinley Drake. William Hunter Esplin. Isabella Catherine Nielsen. Alyssa Ann Nielsen. Isabel Sampson. Alyssa Stevens. Tanner David Vincent. Kimball Waslin. Sheldon Williams. Lucy Draper. Gage Warren Frankerhoff. Calvin Amadeus Blanchard. Bailey Carmen Calvert. Jessica Ashlyn Mathis. Riley Brianne Robinson. Mia Boyce Sarah Lennon. Brianne or Brianna? Brianne. Bree? Brianne. Brianne Kate Simister. Camden Keith Snow. Jared Nelson Abel. Chandler Ridge Abelhausen. Jamie Michelle Adams. Catherine McKay Adams. Taylor Michelle Adamson. Kekoa Afualo. Trey Allen Allred. Aaron Parker Anderson. Brandon Michael Anderson. Gavin Byron Anderson. Samantha Nicole Anderson.
Hiram Jacob Ashton. Samuel John Ashton. Noah Ashton. Nicholas Allen Bailey. Carly Bain. Dana Renee Baker. Emilia Christine Baker. Casey Christopher Bang. Shelby Lynn Parker. Dustin Schuyler Barlow. Carla Nicole Barlow. Michaela Janair Barlow. Christina Bartholomew. Jacob David Barton. Allie Ann Basil. Brindley Patricia Bassett. Adam Thomas Bayless. Rebecca Ruth Bean. Jessica Sarah Bills. Christopher Nicholas Bixman. Allie Blake. Jaden Blaine Blake. Lauren Elizabeth Blotter. Navy Pierce Blomquist. Jordan Paul Bogenhagen. Meg Elizabeth Foley. McKinley Aspen Burgoyne. Haley Sue Boyce. Cody Bracken. Kenneth Henry Bradford. Georgia Michael Brewster. Christian Brinkerhoff. Bailey K. Brooks. Marie Colleen Brown. Haley Buckley. Bree Ann Budge. China Ann Buner. Brooklyn Bundy. Rachel Aaron Burbage. Haley Noel Burgoyne. Abby Jolene Carmack. Kylie Ann Carnley. Haheo Carpenter Colin Reed Carroll 
Asia Lynn Carter. Akela Ann Carter. Landon Merrill Carter. Samuel Cash. Miana Faith Salani. Melissa Chadwick. Soraya Lynn Chamberlain. Blake Chamberlain. Brandon Michael Chesley. Connor James Chittister. Seth Allen Childs. Ryan McKay Cisneros. Bradley Russell Clark. Caden Scott Clark. Madison Page Clark. Hadley Brand Clement. Madison Michael Colbert. Tabri Michelle Coleman. Dallin Scott Condy. Bradley James Cook. Cassidy J. Coons. Josiah Creed Cooper. Kelsey Sarah Cooper. Garrett Cottle. Carson Cox. Taylor Wayne Cox. Ryan Tanner Crandall. Victoria Maria Delphine Crosby. Elise Marie Cummings. Sienna Hope Dahl. Justin Thomas Davidson. Matthew Ryan Davis. Whitney Elizabeth Davis. Abby Lauren Dent. William Lawrence Dessenberg. Nathan Irwin Duncan. Christopher James Dupree. Four. Grant Michael Eads. Olivia A. Earl. Ryan Patrick Emery. Caden Jackson Empey. Aya Enfield. Jackson James Inglebright. Ethan Grant Kirkenbright. Eliza Morgan Erickson. 
Dylan Robert Evans. Erica Kathleen Evans. Ryan Parker Evans. Jackson Wade Newell. Gavin Michael Farr. Taylor Ryan Ferguson. Caitlin Nicole Fernandez. Rachel Noel Faru. Desiree Cheyenne Fitch. Nathaniel Dean Fitch. Brindley Emma Porto. Zachary Todd Forsyth. And Elise Betty Frame. Isaac Brett Francis. Lake Tad Frayer. Mason Alexander Fuller. Hannah Joyce Gardeen. Alyssa Ann Gardner. Brigham Matthew Gardner. Jackson Anthony Gilbert. Maxwell Noah Giles. Chloe Rose Godfrey. Kirsten Shailen Getz. Cecela Ray Golding. Michaela Graf. Seth Graf. Potter Jax Grimshaw. Janelle Guerra. Kennedy Guyman. Kimberly Ann Mabel. Aja Justine Hadley. Parker James Hale. Caitlin Nicole Hamilton. Wyatt Blaine Haney. Davison Hansen. Carrie Hansen. Tyler Jeffrey Hansen. Alexis Wynn Harmon. Maya Annette Harris. Annie Elizabeth Harrison. Kylie Nicole Hartshorn. Kieran James Harvey. Zachary Samuel Haslam. Noah Max Hazelton. 
Walker Ned Heaton. Colby Jace Hendricks. Hayden Point Henry. Tanner Russell Herman. James Matthew Hess. Jacob Raymond Hester. Maya Simone Ho Ching. Grayson Blake Hoffman. Riley Kayleen Hokinson. Vanessa Holbrook. Kelton Christopher Holt. Abby Houston. Kimberly Houston. Dylan Bryce Huff. Emily Joy Hughes. Melindy Joe Hughes. Austin James Hewlett. Taylor James Inlay. Ashley Iverson. Mallory Iverson. Kipling Roy Jackson. Jenya and Joshua Kirk James. <laughs> Katie Jennings. <laughs> Noah Quinn Jensen. Peyton Aguirre Jensen. Colton Jared Johnson. Damick Michael Johnson. Dancy Jones. Tyler Hunt Jones. Dallas James Keat. Bryson Adam King. L.A. Reese Klingensmith. Savannah Knapp. Riley J. Kohler. Gabriel Robert Croft. Zoe Sophia Larson. Caitlin Gail Larson. Trevor James Larson. McKenna Ray Lasson. Leo Lacom. Brandon Parker Lewis. 
Madison Rose Lewis. Susie Loeza. Ashlyn K. Loveland. Riley Noel Lowe. Savannah G. Lund. Jaden Glenn Mackey. Madeline Kate Madsen. Jack William Mallory. Christian Dan Manley. Samantha Martinez de Escobar Pardo. Ryan Johnson Mars. Jane Martin Mathis. Mason William May. Bryant C. McCoy. Henry C. McCoy. Logan Brady McCoy. Dakota Allen McDonald. Nick McElrath. Danielle Nicole McKeegan. Ashley Emily McKnight. Zachary Nathan McCone. Lexi Messenger. Natalie Danielle Mickelson. Hannah Lynn Mitchell. Jolie Ivanel Mitchell. Fernando Ramon Montano. Madison Ray Murdoch. Melissa Jo Neal. Bridger Alexander Nelson. Bryce Todd Nelson. Megan Elizabeth Nelson. Roger Alexander Nira Gonzalez. Lauren Emily Nielsen. Tavita Maina Pele Neopolusu. Keenan Rallison Nyberg. Riley Mikkel Olson. Jenna Oldroyd. Zachary James Olds. Yes, Lord. I love you, Lord. Joseph Isaiah Olivas. Raven Brent Olson. Riley Kathleen Moore. Yeah. 
Ailoa Kamana Okuafi. Meg Owen. Brooklyn K. Palmer. Kaden Ross Palmer. Colby J. Palmer. Brock Cameron Perry. Jason Scott Peacock. Wendy Perez. Brittany K. Peterson. Tucker Peterson. Dalton Petty. Demi Tyler James Phillips. Mary Jane Pike. Kajana Kamali Slant. Alani Sage Plum. Trent Gregory Poulton. Abigail Joy Prince. No noisemakers, please. Kendall Elise Cry. Jackson Leon Reber. Isaiah Armando Rendon. Shadrach Benjamin Reyes. Carter Reed Reynolds. Samuel Keith Roten. Sierra Brielle Roberts. Paxton Robertson. Kobe Jaden Rogers. Dakota Lynn Rogers. Jonathan Berland Rogers. Allison Sophia Roper. Taylor Amanda Rosemeyer. Zara Saifi. Bradley Joseph Soleil. Cameron Philip Salisbury. Alexis Jimbeck. Shawnee Tavell Jimbeck. Matthew Jedediah Scott. Jacob Lamont 
Michaela Sewell.
Colin Joshua Watson. Sabrina Rose Waite. Dixie Ann White. Cassandra L. Whitney. Luke Andrew Wilkes. Joshua Wayne Wilkins. Ian Seth Williams. Tyra Whitwer. Tyler Jacob Wood and Brock David Wood. Nicholas Ruan Woodbury. Savannah Wright. Sydney Ashlyn Wright. Gavin Brian Young. Marika Young. Ethan James Robertson. I can't help but thank Mr. Taylor, our loving principal. This is his last graduation here at Desert Hills, and we are all so grateful. So please, round of applause for Mr. Taylor. say with the class of 2018 please stand up so you guys stay standing you guys can all sit down on the sides though so we're gonna move our tassels and then on the count of three we're gonna throw our caps so please move your tassels from the right to the left one two three 